Hey, what is up guys? My name is Grief Drums, and I've got to be honest, I did not think I was going to be posting another video this quickly. I've literally just had one go up about an hour ago. But nevertheless, the devs have seen fit to drop a operator teaser video for Ying, the Hong Kong attacking operator. As you will no doubt be aware from the recent leaks, Ying is going to have a cluster of flash charges. Now, when this was first leaked, I thought that's ridiculous. What a stupid gadget. Most of the operators have flashbangs and they're pretty lackluster and they don't do a whole lot at the best of times. They're just too unreliable. Maybe I'm just a sucker for these operator teaser videos, but I'm really interested in this now. At first I thought it was going to suck. Looking at it, I think it could be quite a cool gadget and I think I can see where the devs are going with this. What we're going to do though is we're going to break down the full teaser video. We'll go through step by step exactly what we can see. So let's get straight on with it. In the first clip, we obviously get a slightly different view of the map that we got to see before. This is the front door um, that opens up into the reception room. You can see just over to the side. This looks like somewhere that the attackers are going to be able to push up to the building from, from their spawn. Also, if you take a look at the roof just over here at this section, this looks like the kind of roof that the attacker is going to be able to rappel up onto, maybe get in through a few hatches or something like that. But this center section here looks slightly raised, so I don't know if we're going to be able to rappel down through that or even get a very good line of sight, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. The next clips that we get are our first shots of Ying herself. Um, we can see her approaching the building through what appear to be the ticket booths. And we can also see that she's wearing trainers, which is an interesting choice, along with some quite heavy gear. She almost looks like Rook with all of that armor on. Here we get a first glimpse of the gun that she's using. Now this appears to be a 612 shotgun by Cry Precision. The 612 is a modular shotgun in which this cartridge just here holds six rounds. The 4chan leak originally said it was a 612 SD. And a lot of YouTubers have gone down the route of it being a 612 SD. But unfortunately, we can't quite see the barrel here. Now, the 612 has got a long, thin barrel. It looks almost like the heavy barrels in the game. And the 612 SD is actually uh, a lot squarer because it's got an integral silencer built into it. The SD actually stands for suppressed or silenced. So it will be interesting to see if it is the suppressed variant. Because a suppressed shotgun is going to be insane, especially on attack. And I'll be really interested to see just how much damage output this thing's going to have if it has got an integral suppressed barrel. Because as we know, Echo's MP5 SD isn't exactly great. Yes, it's good for headshots, but it's not hard hitting at all. On attack, you have that advantage of distance. That's why you've got ACOGs and stuff like that. And you can keep your distance from the enemy. So with a shotgun, you're going to have to get up close. We can see that she's got iron sights fitted here, but that's about all we can garner from this particular image. The next shot we get to see is the gadget itself. Now, this is the Candela or the Candela, however you want to say it. And it, this is the flashbang, the cluster of flashbangs. It looks interesting, not what I expected to see at all. As you can see, there's sort of a wheel around it, and we see that get used for the rolling out itself. But what I find really odd is that apparently this can stick to walls. I don't really see how that is going to work, especially not with the shape and the concept of it, like the way it's built, but I guess we'll see. We do get to see the timer just on the top of it. There's this yellow dot that you can see. There's actually three circles there. The dot at the top left starts turning yellow in a minute, and this middle one turns green, and I think that is going to be the countdown timer. It doesn't look like a massive amount of time at all, considering she's just primed it and we're already on the second yellow dot. But that's going to work in a way similar to what I believe the frag grenades work as at the minute. You know where you get that reticle that starts flashing? I think it's going to be a similar sort of feature to that. If that is the case, you're going to be able to time this and cook it and then roll it into the room, which is going to be epic. The defenders won't have that opportunity to turn away and look away like they do with flashbangs at the minute. It is an overhand throw that Ying seems to do, so I think this gadget is going to go quite far. But once it hits the floor, if it's not ready to go off yet, I think it's just going to continue to roll as we see in the next clip as it goes under this door. And it gets really close to the camera, and it just the way it rolls just looks awesome. So I don't know if many of you encountered the glitch where you throw impact grenades and they don't go off and you're able to pick them up and throw them back. It looks like it's going to be that. It bounces off something and just rolls. We might see some awesome shots from this thing, you know, sort of bouncing it off one wall and rolling it under a doorway or something like that. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. The biggest thing is going to be making sure you get that accuracy spot on and you do get it under the door. I'm also curious as to how barbed wire is going to stop this thing. If you've got barbed wire on the other side of the door, is it going to slow the rolling down? Is it going to just grab it and stop it from moving? That's going to be an interesting thought to play with. What if it hits rook armor on the other side of the doorway? Can you fit it through a drone hole? I've got so many questions about this and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I really can't. I think once it does go off, it's going to be a good five or six flashes um, and really sort of get everyone in the room. I think this is going to become 
a bit of a pain in the backside for defenders. I think they're going to get quite frustrated. With it being Ying's special ability, I'm curious as to whether Jaeger's ADS is going to get a hold of this thing. Obviously, as we know, Capital's arrows don't get taken out by Jaeger ADS devices, but Ash's breaching rounds do. So the biggest question on the tip of my tongue is, are the Jaeger ADS devices going to be a counter to this? And if so, that's buffing him even further. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And if you happen to see these sort of videos go up, and I haven't put a video up yet, please feel free to let me know because I might have missed it. There's been a few things that have uh, been released and I've been busy and I haven't seen it until it's too late. And at that point, I think I won't bother doing a video because everyone's already seen it. Everyone's already seen five or six other YouTubers and what their opinion is. So, you know, if you see this and I haven't posted, hit me up on Twitter or something like that and I'll, uh, I'll try and get a video done as quickly as I possibly can. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless.